It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey and today we're here for the World's Domination 2.2 update review Overview whatever you want to call it, but today I have my hands on the next beta update for World's Domination I'm gotta admit I'm really excited for it because We've been waiting quite a bit for this, and there's a lot of amazing changes. Some things are more anticipated than others, and, you know, lots of new stuff for Feynman's. I'm excited to get into it. So, right off the bat, one thing's missing, the clouds. The clouds aren't there anymore. They did that to pretty much open up the map more, a little bit more. Uh, they're not going to be covering those cities anymore. We're going to have a better view of everything. It looks really nice. Uh, art looks amazing. It has a nice little glow coming from a light source over there, as you can see on the world as I rotate it around. And also, as you can see, if I'm just kind of rotating, it's just going to kind of kind of like i'm just gonna let it go and it's gonna grab on to one of the cities wars pvp arenas whatever it is it's gonna tag on and that's gonna tell you if it's part of the campaign if it's an event if it's pvp or if it's a guild raid and it also shows kind of a little bit of animation for right here it's the that smoke and the stars coming out of it and also has that yellow line kind of attaching itself to show you what it's part of so if we go to one of the campaign missions right here it's gonna have a blue sort of flare coming out from that and it's really nice. I love it. And that, so right off the bat, you can see that there's a little dotted line collected, connected to all the cities. And this is basically just showing you guys where you are in the campaign, how far along you are, and just things like that. So as you can see, it starts off right here in San Francisco for all you new players. And it pretty much just goes down the line. You're just going to keep continuing on the campaign. It kind of gives you a track of where you are, where you're going, what you're trying to do with this whole campaign. And it pretty much just helps to show you how you're like traveling around the world and attacking and defending different cities if you're with the survivors, or just infecting different cities if you're with the zombies. And of course, it's going to finish off right over here at Manila where you have the epic boss fight. Now, I myself have not been able to play the new campaign, but from what I know, it is phenomenal and I'm sure it's awesome, but I have completed it. And I love, actually, I don't know if I'm, I haven't been able to use it so far, but what I see on my first look, I love this new little kind of organizational screen we have to the left here which the campaign event and all that thing is listed and i like it a lot because it's helping me to kind of get right to where i am so for a lot of you uh current beta players who are kind of working your way through the campaign or if you're playing the game um it just takes you right to where you are in the campaign and i really like that so for right now oh and i have expert unlocked now <coughs> mm, expert unlocked so earlier i wasn't able to play expert just because i got locked out but it's all good now but as you can see pretty much just takes you to the latest spot and i really like that a lot because it's just going to help you kind of instead of having to scroll and scroll and scroll and trying to find out where you are it's going to take you right there makes it a lot easier i love this event because sometimes i don't know what the event is i don't know where it is i click that easily takes me to it so right here campaign event pvp i love it see and i like the little uh def the little whatever the stats it gives me the two days left rank 68 my pvp rank everything like that i like that a lot and then the guild raid that would be going on Whatever guild raids are going on, it's going to take you right there. And I really like this. I like it. just makes everything easier. Jump around a little bit clearer. Yeah, <clears throat> I like it. It's all good. Very good stuff. So right here, I have the thing on the left. I have all the new things. So that's pretty much the bigger UI changes right there and the designs and things like that. Now, for me, this next setting is probably one of the most important, something I've been looking forward to a long time, something that bothered me when I first started. As you can see, we have our team. Now, before... It was very difficult to change and edit our team, but now we have a simple thing right here where we're able to deselect. This is very similar to the one of the early beta stages where we can easily deselect and reselect our team just like that. It's easy as that. Just tap down. Not a problem. We accept it. Bang. Easy. Easy changing. A lot less. Uh, what's the word? I don't know. It's just uh, makes better use of your time. Things like that. And as well, when you're trying to attack, if you want to go fight. You can easily update your team now. No problem at all. I like the bigger icons. Makes it easier. I'm sure this looks a really good on the mobile devices. Things like that. I'm really excited for this update. Because remember when I'm looking on my phone, everything seems really small. Hard to see. But with those icons blown up, I think that's going to be really good on the mobile platforms. So, if you're an Android or iPhone player, iTouch 2, I mean... You're set. It's good stuff. So now we're going to into the little smaller refinements here. I'm just going to read through them really quick for you guys. And I may throw them up on the screen. Maybe not, depending how I feel. <laughs> but um, here we go. If a player has a rating of 1,500 or less, they'll only fight opponents near their team power. Here, let me uh, break this down in a second. Let me just go ahead and head over to PvP. Let's go ahead and fight here. Might as well just get an attack going in the background so you guys aren't bored. 
And let me just swap out a couple of these guys. Let me swap out my sniper here for a machine gunner. Let me swap out the cop for a commando. Let's accept that and let's go ahead and fight. We are still in the bronze league, guys. It's a little rough, but we'll just keep powering through. So we're taking on someone from The Walking Dead. Sweet. All right. Where are our defensive points? What, do we only have one point we're defending here? Oh, we have two. Okay. All right. Not a problem. Not a problem. Let me go ahead and throw one guy back here. Throw a machine gunner right over there. And another thing. When you're tapping, it's kind of helping to differentiate which troops you're putting down. So say it's an epic unit. It's going to have a little blue kind of glow coming from it if it's a rare unit you know it'll just have that specific color so for the spec ops it's gonna be blue like you saw with my shingers it's gonna be purple so it's really cool so i'm ho I, don't, I don't know what the legendary one the what a hero unit let's go ahead and throw down destructor boom see that i love that these new animations are really cool i love them let me go ahead and throw down a sniper right over there throw down one commando and surgeon just for good measure right there and yeah I like that. We're only going to be doing it against one patch. So I'm not too worried. Over here, it's going to get a little bit more hectic. Let me go ahead and throw down oh, one machine gun over there. Let's go ahead and put two dead shots down just because. And there's going to help a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Let me move that flag over there. And we're going to throw three commandos right on over there. Sharpshooter, spec ops, spec ops. Machine gunner just for good measure. Why not? And we're just going to kind of let that play out. So I'm going to start the waves here. Not going to speed up everything i'm gonna let you guys watch here overview while i finish off these last couple improvements so in pvp if a player has a rating of 1500 or less they'll only fight opponents near their team power makes a, lot of, a little more balancing tweaks things like that for pvp players won't be matched with other players too far below their rating players at higher ratings have shorter shields and can attack the same opponent more frequently so that's another good in pvp improvement scoring has changed to prevent losses even when all enemies or objectives are destroyed so i like that it's another good improvement i'll take it and defenders automatically borrow the best unit from their guild so that's really good if you're attacking pvp because i know if you're if you can borrow a level 30 machine gunner you're going to want to borrow that machine gunner just to help you improve your odds in that pvp so that's really nice going to help those higher tier players i'm sure they're going to love that so what are you thankful for? Hopefully the bug fixes. Bug fixes are always more than welcome to me. Love the bug fixes. Let me go ahead and send these. Ooh, I like that. That's another thing right here. Biohazard times one tells you what it's going to be sent. So I like that. All right. So bug fixes. I always like bug, fi bug fixes. Bug fixes. Getting tongue tied. So numerous crash fishes, fixes and performance enhancements. I'll take it. Units can be better. Can better display their stats. It's always nice. Units who can jump walls no longer get stuck in walls. That has happened a couple times to me. They're just stuck there. They can't do anything. I don't understand why they're stuck, but uh, that's fixed now, so that's good. Infectors no longer get stuck. That is probably the most welcome thing because I know sometimes I'll just have one get stuck on a car or something. I don't know. It's random. Uh, bus saw deployment size increases at correct rank. I know a lot of higher level players are complaining about that. Puddlers and cesspools have scaling damage again. Sweet. Mission difficulty tabs no longer hide borrowable units on multiple clicks. I had that problem. You guys may have seen me do that, but I'm glad that's fixed. It was a little bit bothersome, but it was okay. Uh, adjusted raid and event trophy amounts. Little things are tweaked there. So yeah, that's pretty much most of the things. A lot of cool little design animations added in. I love it. So you all saw most of them, but I love it. A lot of new changes. I'm happy with all of them. Really excited to get playing with this. You guys will see more and more of it in the upcoming videos, guys. But I hope you enjoyed this little update 2.2 review and overview. And you get, you know, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.